Ruhiva Kronul Tsilnech Ma. Hey everyone and welcome to the 2023 ModCon Showcase for Beyond Skyrim Argonia. I'm Aaron Maloney, the audio lead and one of the writing leads, also known as the True High King of Black Marsh, and I'm going to be talking to you about the great progress Argonia has made recently. All departments have been hard at work creating the homeland of the Argonians, from building the ruins of the land's ancient peoples to giving life to its modern inhabitants. Today we're going to give you an insight into how all of that comes together, going into detail of each department's progress. A disclaimer, the music used in this showcase video is a representation of what the music of Argonia will sound like and is not the official version. We will be focusing on the Doors of Highlands, an area of northwestern Argonia, starting off with a glimpse into one of the region's Nidic ruins. Let's dive in. Like other remnants of ancient cultures scattered around Argonia, Nidic ruins like this one attract the attention of the Turnian Antiquarian Society. The members of this society are just a few of the more than 150 NPCs that our writing department has completed in the last year. These NPCs include citizens of the Turnian League, an alliance of former imperial colonies, as well as several traditional Argonian villages, all representing the majority of those needed for our current writing phase. Our focus has since turned to writing quests and world encounters. Dozens of quests have already been finished, and just ahead is one of our recently completed world encounters. For this demonstration, we are using a temporary computer-generated voice, which, before release, will be replaced with real voice acting. Please, help! Don't leave me here! I was traveling the marshes, thought if I stayed on the roads nothing would happen to me, and... Now I can't carry on. I think it might be swamp rot. Please, can you help me? You would just give a potion away? I was starting to lose hope. Thank you, I feel much better now. Your appearance was a miracle. I could have died out here if it wasn't for you. All of the clothes our NPCs wear, as well as armor, are concepted first by our 2D department before moving on to be 3D modeled. Some examples of these are the Turnian outfits, the Sarpa armor, the Chitin armor, the Rormasu armor, and much more. Our artists have also created designs for the architecture and weapons found in the region. You'll see the final versions of many of these designs throughout the video. For creatures, our artists have taken inspiration from many sources, including new creatures introduced to the lore of Argonia in Elder Scrolls Online. Concept artwork usually begins with multiple variations, and as a team, we vote on which design we like the best. Then, color variations are decided upon. Once the team is happy with the piece, it is sent to the 3D team so they can model and texture it. Then, finally, it is sent to implementation so we can harass travelers like us. Argonia is populated by dozens of new creatures. Some, like this one, utilize existing animation sets available from Skyrim. But for additional variety, our animators and implementers have also added new animation sets to the game. While this has been most useful for expanding the diversity of creatures the player can encounter, it has also allowed us to add a greater spark of life to the daily routines of our NPCs, especially to those living in traditional village settings. The basic animations seen here have been made available to other Beyond Skyrim teams as well, so you may see them in other parts of Tamriel using tools local to their area. The 
need something. As you've probably heard throughout the video, we've recently been working on sound effects that our creatures make. So far, multiple creatures such as the Marsh Harpy and the Giant Snail have been fully voiced, with more on the horizon. These sound effects have been produced to align perfectly to the various animations you see the creatures perform. Up ahead is one of our new histories. If you're familiar with the lore of Argonia, you'll know that the histories are central to Argonian culture and have considerable influence over their biology. These iconic trees are unique to the region, and they are one of the many ways we aim to make Argonia feel strikingly different from the Skyrim we're all familiar with. For our Barsabic Aeliad ruins, our 3D team has made a new tileset inspired by the Heartland Aeliad tileset used by the Cyrodiil team. This has allowed us to utilize a larger suite of exterior assets with new textures appropriate for the humid environment of Argonia. When it comes to 3D assets, Argonia makes use of as little assets from Skyrim as possible. Hardly any of the items found in the frigid tundra and mountains of northern Tamriel would be appropriate in these southern swamps and forests. Our 3D team has already created approximately 7,500 new 3D assets for the game, with many, many more still to be done. Among those assets are a variety of new weapons, such as the restored Cuthringi mace we've been using so far. We've also been experimenting with including new types of weaponry, notably spears, which have been popular with most cultures in Argonia, ancient and modern. For the spear animations, we've received permission to incorporate elements from the animated armory mod by Nick and Nick. Barsabic weapons aren't the only thing you'll be able to acquire from exploring their ruins. This is our Barsabic armor set. If you're interested in trying it out for yourself, you can find it as a standalone mod on the Nexus by Shinglescat, one of our 3D artists. Shinglescat has also been hard at work outside of our 3D department. She's been busy creating new custom weathers for Argonia, including the misty drizzle we've been walking through here in the Highlands. Development of our weathers has been greatly enhanced by the creation of a new weather tool, courtesy of our implementers, which allows weathers to be created in-game. The plants and creatures of Argonia provide a plethora of new ingredients. Our 3D artists have created numerous assets to ensure a diverse collection of alchemical components, from familiar items such as flowers and moth wings to more unusual items like tongues and oils. In Argonia, you'll be able to discover new alchemical effects not found in Skyrim, and some other effects may be harder to come by. Finding suitable ingredients to create a cure for a disease will likely require a trek to the opposite ends of Argonia, or a confrontation with a dangerous predator. Of course, all these new plants and creatures require a proper place to call home. That's where our level designers come in. Approximately two-thirds of Argonia's biomes have already received an initial level design pass. Unfortunately, Argonia is not a place where one can simply enjoy a stroll through nature. Banditry is a constant threat in Western Argonia, where tribal authority is weakest and the reach of the Turnian League is limited. Travellers must be wary when approaching camps like the one ahead.
While the bandits here are currently using the same generic lines from Skyrim, in time these will all be replaced by lines more appropriate for Argonia. For some NPCs, this will include full and partial lines of Jell, the native language of the Argonians. Although official Elder Scrolls sources provide very limited samples of this language, our writing team has used those as a basis to greatly expand the vocabulary and grammar, so our NPCs will be able to fluently speak their mother tongue. It seems these bandits have been up to some poaching and illegal animal trading. Let's head into the mine and see what else we might discover. hope you've enjoyed getting a glimpse into some of the progress our team has made recently. If you have any interest in joining our team and helping us bring Argonia to life, we are accepting applications for all departments, but are in need of some areas more than others. We are always recruiting skilled writers, concept artists and animators. Our 3D team is also searching for more artists who can model clothes, creatures and architecture. For our audio department, we are looking for passionate composers and sound designers for creatures in atmospheric soundscapes. To apply to Argonia or any of the other Beyond Skyrim projects, please visit beyondskyrim.org. Thank you for watching our showcase. We hope you enjoy the rest of Creation ModCon 2023.